All right, what's going on guys? This is Jake and in this video, we're going to be reviewing one of the newest themes inside of the Shopify theme store. So this theme is going to be Enterprise and this theme was created by Clean Canvas. So they've created a bunch of Shopify themes within the Shopify store. So you may have seen some of their themes before. This is their newest theme Enterprise and we can see that this is a premium theme here, which is $360 to go ahead and buy and it has an unlimited free trial, which means you can install it on your store and you only have to pay for it if you choose to publish it as your active theme. So before we actually take a look at this theme, some of you may be asking why would you choose to buy a premium theme when you can use a bunch of the free theme options inside of Shopify. So while the free theme options are definitely good and I have a bunch of videos on them, there are some advantages that come with premium themes as well, which we're going to be touching on a bit as we go through this particular theme. But one thing that you're definitely going to notice is that the premium themes typically come with a lot of features and functionality that the free themes don't have. And if you want these same features and functions on a free theme, you're gonna to have to install third-party apps and pay monthly to have these features versus with a premium theme, you can just pay one upfront cost to have all these features indefinitely. So that's one of the main benefits of premium themes. It can also definitely help make your store stand out compared to all the other stores running the same three or four free themes as well. So let's take a look at this theme here. So we're going to open up the demo store and we're going to start taking a look at this theme. So we see here by default, this theme is going to be suited for very large inventories. So if you have a bunch of products or if you have a bunch of different product categories so a bunch of different collections then this theme is going to be well suited for that so we're going to just go through the different parts of the theme so the home page collection product page the card etc and we'll see how this new theme stacks up so starting off we can see here up top we have the standard announcement bar that's on a lot of themes however this one has a few more sections so we have a couple of different links here and then we also can change the currency as well as translating our store to different languages. So these are actually two things that in a lot of cases you'd have to install a third party app for. So this is essentially two apps that you don't have to install right here if you were to use this theme right here. So that's kind of what I was touching on earlier. And that'll kind of be a recurring theme as we take a look at some other features that come with this enterprise theme. So next we have a search bar and we can, if we were to search something here, so we'll just search like Acer and we can see that this is not just a basic search bar. We can see that it's more visual. So we can see the different products right in here. And then we, it's sorting our search results based on three different sections. So we have products, collections, and articles. So this would be like our blog post. So this is pretty cool. It's a nice step up from your basic search functionality. This theme also does offer voice search for users on mobile that want to use voice search instead of typing something in. The rest of this section is pretty standard with our account and our cart up here. And then next we have this menu and this is actually going to be a mega menu here. So we can see we can hover over and we have a couple different sections. So we have this left side menu here. And when we hover over one of these, we can see that it brings up a completely different collection. So we can see here we have the digital cameras and then within digital cameras, we have the different types of cameras right here. And same for each one of these other sections. So it's pretty cool. So like I said, this is why this theme is going to be very good for a large amount of products and a large amount of collections because it's going to be very good at organizing these large collections and making it very easy to navigate the store. If you've ever been on a site like Best Buy, you'll notice that this theme is kind of similar to that. So it's going to be very similar to the, a lot of the big box professional brands that have very large inventories. You can see that you can also make the menu look a little bit different. So this was one version of the mega menu. This is another version of it right here where it's a little bit more vertical. And then we have these three different visual sections down here. And then we have a standard menu drop down right here. And then we have another announcement bar down here, which is pretty standard. And then we have 
another announcement here, which is more so a sales announcement. We can see it's giving us a coupon code we can instantly copy that we could go ahead and use at checkout. Then we have a header image right here, which has your standard call to action button here. But one thing that's unique with this theme is it comes with this search functionality here, this search section that you can actually put in different sections on your store, but by default, it's going to be in this header. So we can see here, we can narrow down which product we're searching for right here. So we could choose a category. So let's say computing and then we'll choose computers and we'll choose laptops. And then we could sort this by price. So let's say we wanted laptops that were under around a thousand. And we can see it would show nine products right here. So if we click on that right here, we can see the different laptop products that are actually showing up under $1,000, which is pretty cool. And there's some more stuff on the collection page that we're going to take a look at, but we're going to finish going through the home page first. So scrolling down, we see we have a section here where you can set up different collections. So pretty visually appealing here. And then we have some very visual sections right here where the theme is just showing off different categories once again. And then we have another section that's showcasing a countdown timer. And this is going to be promoting the flash sale that was being promoted on the header earlier on that we saw. And this is something that would normally take another third party app to go ahead and do, but this comes with the theme natively. We have a trending product section right here. So pretty much what is the most popular right now. One thing that you'll notice as well is that this particular product here in the center actually is available for pre-order so this theme has pre-order functionality built into it which is something that would normally require a third-party app as well and we have a, another standard hero section right here with a nice video in the background and we have another two image section right here in this case showcasing brands we have this section with a bunch of different brands we're carrying and then we have this comparison table right here with five different cameras and we can see that it's showing the rating type color pixels image sensor price so this is a cool comparison table so this is a neat feature if you have a lot of products in categories that are similar so people won't know exactly which model or which type that they want to go ahead and buy so you can set up your products in a comparison table like this so that way customers can find which one is going to be best for them so that's definitely pretty cool and we have just another standard image with text section, another hero section, another big visual call out section. We have our newsletter section, and then we have another collection showing right here. We have a multi column section here, which they've used to show popular departments in this case. And then we have like essentially an FAQ section down here, some featured products, and then we have the footer which is a pretty standard for section footer where we can also change our currency and language once again just like we could up top so that's the home page by default and if you were to actually change the theme style over to active you can see that this is another way that you could design the home page we can see it's following the a similar template using the same types of sections just ordering it a little bit differently we can see that this theme preset kind of gives the vibes that you're on a site like nordstrom or another you know big box clothing company like that kind of reiterates the fact that this theme is going to be very beneficial for large inventories so we're going to go back to the digital theme style and now we're going to take a look at the collections page so if i were to just click on digital cameras we can see we have a nice simple heading for your collections nothing too fancy we just have a title and then the description right here and we can see we have our filters here over on the left so availability price brand colors and we can see we have the color swatches here as well and this is always a good visual feature to have that any reputable site at this point is going to have color swatches on there and then we have other sections that we can customize as well to sort by and then of course we have all of our products right here so one cool thing about this theme is it has a compare feature so let's say we wanted to compare two different cameras so let's compare these two cameras so we could click on compare on both of these come over here to the right click compare 
and then click on compare now and we can see that it's going to bring up both of these cameras it's going to show both their price points their reviews their description their colors and all of their different options and specs are going to be shown down here and we can choose either view the pro product or remove it from the comparison if i were to close this out i could add a third one to the comparison if we wanted take a look at the comparison and we can see that everything's going to show up once again so this is similar to the comparison table that was on the home page except we're just creating it ourselves so this is definitely a very cool feature that's going to be beneficial if you have like i said large inventories with a bunch of similar products that customers aren't going to exactly know which model they want to go ahead and buy so now let's take a look at the product page here so if we go ahead and open up this camera you can see that we have standard product page we have a couple of urgency notifications showing up here saying this item is selling fast and we have the color selector so we can see the color swatches are showing up here on the product page too which like i said is definitely a good option to have we can see we have the stock counter down here with this bar so if it were to be in very low stock we can see that this bar would change colors to add a little bit of urgency scrolling down we can see that there is cross cells that are kind of built into the theme so that's normally something you'd have to use another app for as well but that's this is built into the current theme we can see that we can scroll through these cross cells right here and you could go ahead and actually choose options right for this cross cell and i would open up on the side and you could go ahead and add it straight to cart right from the screen we have our specifications and our reviews over here on the left the product page by default comes with the trust badges as well which is normally something that would require another app and then we have the product comparison chart that was on the home page here on the product page once again so this is going to be very good for certain products and one thing that you'll notice is as soon as we scroll down to a certain point this pop-up is going to show up right here so if you've ever seen like the sticky add the cart buttons this is similar to that so it's essentially just putting a call to action right here whenever you leave the add the cart section so if i were to click on choose options it's going to bring us right back up top to allow us to start checking out so this is helpful if you have a really long product page and you want customers to be able to jump straight back to the checkout process so this will help with conversion as well and it's cool because it's built right into the theme we have some other visual sections we have recommended products another section here text section and then we just have the footer so i think the product page looks pretty good and another thing to note about the product page and just the theme in general is how quickly the pages actually load this theme was extremely optimized for performance, which obviously, as we all know, plays a huge role in optimizing conversion rates. Because if your site is loading slowly, then most likely people are going to bounce. So this theme actually does something pretty cool where whenever you're hovering over a button that's going to take you to another page, it's preloading the page in the background. So this is going to help drastically improve your page load times. Let's take a look at what the cart would look like. So if I were to add this to cart, we can see that it's going to be the cart drawer on the side. And you'll notice that this is more than just a basic cart. So we can see that it's showing us our order is eligible for free shipping. And if we scroll down, we can see that cross cells are actually showing up inside our cart by default as well, which once again is normally something that will require a third party app to customize your cart like this so if we were to take a look at the cart now if we view the cart we can see that once again the cart page is going to have some of the crawl cells showing up down here and then we have a little bit more visual aspects right here we have a little visual section with the button and then we have some recommended products down here so overall, I think this is a pretty cool theme that has a lot of neat features. As we've been going through it, you'll notice how many times I've said that normally this would require a third-party app. So you're getting a lot of different features that normally would require third-party apps that you'd have to pay monthly for. And you're getting it all within one theme with one upfront cost. So that's going to be the trade-off of a premium theme is yeah, you're paying more upfront but you are going to be getting a lot of 
different features. So let's jump back over to the theme page and actually look at stores that are actually using this theme. So I'm going to open up this site here. So we can see that they're using it for an automotive site. So we can see they have a bunch of different products that they're selling for car care. So we can take a look at the mega menu right here. We can see that they're using a simple mega menu with just different sections and then vertical categories. And they have the same one for each section here. And then we can see that they are using that special search inside of the header that was in the demo store. So if I run through this real quick, let's say I'm looking for exterior car care. I'm gonna clean my, say I wanna clean my wheels and say I'm looking for a pressure sprayer. And then we can see the view six products right here. And we can see, see that it's showing us these products right here. If I were to just open up one of these products, we can take a look at their product page here. So we can see they're using the recommended products. They're using the badges and they're using this section here. So we can see they're using a bit more of a simplified product page right here, coming back to the home page. We can see they have the circular product category section the demo was using. And they're using the comparison table as well. So this is a nice practical example showing the actual functional use of the comparison ta table live. And then they have a section with like blog posts, etc. And then their FAQs. So lastly, let's take a look at what the theme actually looks like inside the store. So we'll come in here inside the back end. So I'm going to come in here to theme library and we're to customize enterprise here. So we'll see that this is what the theme looks like from the back end. So these are the sections here that are in here by default. And obviously, like any other theme, you can come in here and edit it and use different sections. So another thing you'll notice with a theme like this, with most premium themes, they're going to be coming with a bunch of different sections that aren't available with default themes. So we can see here the header group, for example, you can add sections such as promo strips and scrolling banner. So if I were to click on the promo strip, you can see that, that shows right here. And this is a bit more functional than your standard announcement. We can see they have an announcement bar right here as well. And if I were to come down here to the actual template sections, we can see that there's some sections that you probably don't see with the base theme, such as the scrolling banner section, the countdown timer, and the promotion grid. Shoppable image as well is another unique section that's not going to be available with most base themes. And then we have the product comparison grid down here, which is the section that we saw used on the demo store and on the live store of the one company using this theme. And then if we were to come down here to add section, and if we were to Look, there's a bunch of different sections here. That So you have the standard Shopify sections that are in most of the base themes. But then as we scroll down, you can see there's a bunch of different new sections that are going to be particular to the enterprise theme that you're able to add in. So that's what the back end of the theme is going to look like. And obviously you customize it just like any other theme. So overall, in my opinion, I think the enterprise theme is a pretty good theme. It gives you a lot of features and functionality that you would normally need a bunch of different apps to perform. And it gives it to you with one upfront cost instead of having to pay monthly. And since it's a purpose developed theme, your website performance is going to be better than if you had to install like 10, 15 different apps. So I think it's a pretty good theme, but it's definitely going to only be applicable depending on the type of store you have. So if you're only selling a couple products or you have five or six products, this theme probably isn't going to be the theme for you. But if you do have a very large inventory and you have a bunch of different categories and collections and you have a bunch of similar products that would benefit from being compared side by side, and you want all of these extra features without having to install a bunch of different apps, then this theme would probably be a good fit for your store. So I'll leave a link to the enterprise theme in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.